Okay, so get this right. This article, The Intelligence Age, it basically says we're on the verge of having, like, personalized experts available 24-7. Imagine a world where you can learn anything you want, anytime, and it's tailored just for you. It's wild, isn't it? And what's fascinating to me is how the article ties this all back to this idea of society as intelligence. Yeah. It's like we've been building towards this intelligence age for centuries, piece by piece. Yeah, like all those inventions, all those discoveries, they're all connected, right? Absolutely. Like think about GPS, something we use all the time. It wouldn't exist without centuries of breakthroughs in math, astronomy, physics. It's mind-blowing. Exactly. The article calls it standing on the shoulders of giants, which I love. <laughs> And now AI is like the next giant, ready to take us even further. It's kind of humbling when you think about it, you know, how much knowledge we've gained as a species. And now AI is going to take that knowledge and run with it, and at a speed we've never seen before. And that speed, it's mind-boggling. One of the biggest drivers is something called deep learning, which is a game changer, according to the article. So about deep learning, I'll admit I was a little fuzzy on it at first. Yeah. But the article explains it in a way that just clicked for me. It's like, imagine showing an AI every picture of a cat ever taken, right? Eventually, it wouldn't just recognize any cat. It would start to see details we miss as humans, you know? Subtle patterns in their fur, everything. That's a great way to put it. Deep learning is all about feeding AI massive amounts of data and letting it find those hidden patterns, those connections that would take us humans. Well lifetimes to uncover. Yeah. So the more data, the smarter the AI gets. And we're talking about access to more information than ever before in human history. Which is exciting, sure, but also a little intimidating, to be honest. Absolutely. And that's why understanding this shift, this intelligence age, is so crucial. Mm. Because it's not science fiction, it's happening right now. Mm. And you know what's really interesting? The article makes it clear that this future, this intelligence age, it's not something that just happens to us. Right, like we have a say in how this all plays out. Exactly. We're not just along for the ride. It's about making choices now, today, that will shape the kind of future we want to build with AI. It's like we're holding the map, but we get to choose the destination. Exactly. And one of the big challenges the article highlights is ensuring that all this potential, all this power of AI, it benefits everyone, not just a select few. Right, like how do we make sure it's fair? Exactly. And that's where it gets really interesting. The article doesn't just talk about the technology, the AI itself, but the infrastructure that's needed to support it. OK, I have to admit, when I first read infrastructure, I was picturing like roads and bridges. Other. But then it clicked. We're talking about making AI accessible, affordable. Exactly. Think of it like this. What good is a super fast car if there are no roads to drive it on? We need to invest in things like cheaper, more abundant computing power, because right now, training AI, it's incredibly expensive and energy intensive. So it's about democratizing this technology, making sure everyone has the opportunity to benefit. Precisely. It's not just for tech giants or research labs. The article envisions a future where AI is available to everyone, kind of like having a smartphone in your pocket. That's a powerful image. But, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, right? Mm. And the article doesn't shy away from the potential downsides of AI either. Right. There are always two sides to every coin. Exactly. It acknowledges the risks of bias, misinformation, even manipulation. Like, we've already seen how algorithms can be used to spread fake news, right? <laughs> or reinforce existing prejudices. And as AI gets more sophisticated, so do those risks. But, and this is important, the article doesn't just leave us with a sense of impending doom. Okay, good, because that's where my head was going. It emphasizes that we have agency. We have a voice in this. We have the power to shape its development and ensure it aligns with our values. So what can we do? How do we make sure AI is a force for good in the world? Give us the game plan. Well, there's no easy answer. No one-size-fits-all solution. But the article stresses the importance of open dialogue, collaboration, policymakers, researchers, the public, we need to be asking tough questions about ethical frameworks, data privacy, mitigating potential harms. It's almost like we need a global conversation about AI. Exactly. It's about striking a balance between fostering innovation and safeguarding against potential risks. And the good news is we're not starting from scratch. There are already organizations, individuals working on these issues, pushing for transparency, ethical guidelines. Okay, so we've talked about the how, the challenges, the responsibilities, but I'm dying to know what does this future actually look like? 
The article hints at some pretty amazing possibilities. So we've talked about the challenges, the guardrails we need to put in place, but let's be honest, the really exciting part is what this future actually looks like, right? And this article, it paints a picture straight out of sci-fi, but instead of spaceships, it's AI that's gonna change everything. It really does. It suggests that with AI as our partner, some of the biggest problems we face they might not be problems for much longer. Okay, now you have to give me some examples. What kind of world-changing stuff are we talking about here? Well, how about a future where climate change isn't this constant threat? Okay, that would be pretty amazing. The article talks about AI helping us develop new types of renewable energy, managing resources globally, even reversing some of the environmental damage that's already been done. So instead of just trying to survive climate change, we could actually use AI to fix things. Exactly. And it gets even more mind-blowing. Space colonization, something that seems impossible right now. Yeah. The article suggests it could become a reality in our lifetime thanks to AI. Wait, AI could help us build colonies on Mars? Is that what you're saying? Well, it doesn't get into specifics. Yeah. But it does say that AI's ability to solve complex problems, to manage resources so efficiently, it could make establishing a space colony a lot more realistic. Think about it. AI could design life support systems, figure out the best ways to grow food, even help us adapt to living on another planet. I don't know whether to be excited or terrified, but let's be real for a second. Even if we achieve all of that life in this intelligence age, it's not going to be perfect, right? We're still human after all. You're absolutely right. The article isn't trying to sell us on a utopia. It acknowledges that there will still be disagreements, inequalities, even conflicts. Technology is a tool, and like any tool, it can be used in ways that are harmful as well as helpful. So it's not about reaching some kind of perfect future, but about navigating this new world, this intelligence age, with our eyes open, making sure AI is used ethically for everyone's benefit. Absolutely. And that brings us to what I think is the article's most important message, something I really hope you'll keep thinking about. It's the idea that the future isn't something that just happens to us. We have choices. We have a voice. We're not just along for the ride. Exactly. The decisions we make today, they're going to shape the intelligence age, determine what kind of future we create with AI. It's a powerful message. It's a call to action. And on that note, as we wrap up our deep dive into the intelligence age, I want to leave you with a question inspired by the article. If you could fast forward 100 years and look back, what would surprise you most about the world AI has helped to create? Think about it. That's all the time we have for today's deep dive. Until next time, keep learning, keep asking questions, and keep your minds open to the incredible possibilities of the future.